Hi everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I got a fairy loot box. Fairy loot. Okay. This is what we're looking like in here. And we were getting two books this month. One is a soft back book. Ooh, look how pretty. That's pretty. And this is After Love by Tanya Wern. And at the top it says, not even death will tear them apart. So that is cute. I feel like the little like moth and it's really pretty pink and purples on the, on the book here. And it does look like it is signed by the author. Very cool. All right. So that was like a bonus book. They do a bonus book every now and then. Then we have a Caraval stamp pin. Um, I'm not going to try to pronounce that. Um, let me see if I can get steady enough for you to see it. Maybe not. Nope. I don't think it's going to happen. Nope, it's not going to happen for us. Well, I think it says... Felferia? Felfera? Felfira? Moon Designs? F-E-L-F-I-R-A? Moon Designs is who created our pin. You might be able to read it on this one a little bit better. Nope, it's just not wanting to focus today, so I apologize. Get maybe the light over here that's kicking our butts. But anyways, very, very cute. I'm digging it. All right. Next up, we have a pencil case. It says, the world is... Wild with Untamed Things by Amanda Joy. So that's very pretty too. It's like a purple and um, these are like red little, they almost look like mistletoe flowers. But you could also use it as like a little handbag. It's like got some like feltish type of interior there. So you could use that as a little purse or a money bag or a pencil case if you'd like. Okay. We got a bunch of little squigglies. Ooh, cool. And we got a pin banner. Very cool because the last thing I got, I'm running out of room on it. This was my other one that is just about full. So yay, I'm excited to get one of these. This is really pretty. It has gold foiling there. And let me see if it says, okay, this is inspired by Violent Delights, these Violent Delights. So it's got really pretty details in there. I do really like that. And it's got a little rope cord there. Awesome, awesome. And let's see. Making a mess. And we didn't get a whole lot of items this month because of the extra book, which I'm okay with too. Um, let's see. So we have our tarot cards here. We've got the Ace of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles. Very cute. Okay. And then this is our spoiler card. Um, the theme was Love Struck this month, which is August. Ooh, always love them sprayed edges. Ooh, and we've got some stenciled edges too. We've got our art print, which is absolutely beautiful. I love the detail in her dress. So pretty. And then a letter from the author. There you are. And then our little fairy scoop, which has um, dates with interviews with the author, some questions about the book, etc. This mine got a little bit bent in transit, but that's that's okay. But look at that. Those are absolutely beautiful stenciled edges there. So we got orange, orange, orange. And the book is going to be These Hollow Vowels by Lexi Ryan. A heart is a dangerous thing to steal. That is so pretty. I love how they did the shiny front right there. See? And the rest of it's a matte color. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Let's see what our book looks like. Ooh, that's pretty. So we've got like that orange foiling right there. That's stunning. Look at that. Very pretty spine. Nothing on the back. And let's take a look at this dust jacket art. Very pretty. 
it looks like this has obviously got some play in the castle. Let's see what it's about. All right, Brie would do anything before making a deal with the Fae. Death is preferable to their vicious schemes, but when her sister is taken by the sadistic king of the Unseelie court, there is nothing Brie wouldn't do to get her back, including make a deal with the king himself to steal three magical relics from the rival Seelie court. Gaining unfettered access to the Seelie court is easier said than done. Bree's only choice is to pose as a potential bride for Prince Ronan, the Seely prince who's not quite as wicked as she once thought. Unwilling to let her heart distract her, she accepts help from a band of unseely misfits with their own secret agenda. But as Bree spends time, bleh, but as Bree spends time with their mysterious leader Finn, she finds herself struggling to resist his seductive charm. Caught between two dangerous courts, Bree must decide who to trust with her loyalty and with her heart. That sounds awesome. Then on the back here, it says the king was right about one thing. I am a great thief. I can steal just about anything, but a fairy prince's heart, I wouldn't know where to start. So there we go. That sounds like an awesome book. This might just have to be bumped up on the list. I like it. I like it. So that was it in this box, guys. So not a, not a ton of items, but we did get um, the pin banner, our pencil case, we got two books. So not to my most favorite box, but I do really like this book. I like the cover and the spine. I don't think I have a whole lot of orange sprayed edge books, but um, again, this was our other book here. And this one's called After Love. Let me just go ahead and read the back of this one for you guys. Um, car headlights. The last thing Ash hears is a snapping, I'm sorry, is a snap of breaking glass as the windshield hits Hits her and shatters windscreen. Let's let's rewind. Car headlights. The last thing Ash hears is the snap of breaking glass as the windscreen hits her and shatters into a million pieces like stars. But she made it. She's still here. Or is she? This New Year's Eve, Ash gets an invitation from the afterlife she can't decline. To join a clan of fierce girl reapers who take the souls of the city's dead to await their fate. But Ash can't forget her first love, Poppy. And she will do anything to see her again, even if it means they only get a few more days together, dead or alive. Dun, dun, dun. That actually sounds really good, too. And I do absolutely love the little shiny moths and the pretty purple and pink colors. That is everything for you guys. Let me just run through the spoiler card really, really quickly. Okay. I'm confused. Literary tray? Am I missing something here? Hmm. I don't know. I don't think... Did I miss... Did I not get that? What is that? Okay, it says, We had such positive feedback on our last literary tray that we knew we must include another one. Your new tray has a beautiful design by at Stella Bookish Art and a quote from the Cemetery Boys by Aiden Thomas. So I did not get that in my box. So I will shoot Fairy Loot a message on that, but typically they're really, really good about getting back, um, getting back to you. So yeah, I, that's why I was probably feeling like this box was a little short, but um, yeah, I definitely did not get that. So no worries there. Um, but that was a, a tray, a literary tray. Okay. The new pin, um, Some Amazing Love Stories Unraveled in the Story of Caraval by Stephanie Garbers. We had to include an item based on the fandom. Um, and that was, again, by Felfara Moon Designs. I'm sorry if I'm saying that wrong. And then you can pin your new pin on this pin on this beautiful pin banner. Stunning design is created by at Blanca Design. And the gold foil details really make it come alive. It is inspired by these violent delights by Chloe Gong. There is also the pencil case for your stationery. It features a beautiful quote from A River of Royal Blood by Amanda Joy. Um, <laughs> then the copy of After Love by Tanya Byrne has a beautiful exclusive cover, sprayed edges, and a digital signature. And um, the month's tarot cards were Ace and Two of Pentacles, designed by At Morgana O. Anagram, and are inspired by Caraval by Stephanie Garber. 
this book of the month was these hollow vows by lexi ryan it is a sexy action-packed fantasy about a girl who is caught between two treacherous fairy courts the fairy loot exclusive edition has an exclusive cover stenciled and sprayed edges artwork on the reverse of the dust jacket by at sash ac underscore art and is signed by the author don't forget to check out the author letter and the beautiful artwork on the other side also by the amazing at sash ac underscore art so there you have it that is everything in our fairy loot box uh i think out of the stuff that i received uh believe it or not i'm gonna say that i really like the uh, pin banner you can never have enough pin banners because you always get a ton of pins if you get book boxes so i'm excited about that and this little pencil case is also really cute so those are the items I liked. I'm really excited to get into this book because this does sound like an action-packed little book here. So I will let you guys know when I start this and what I think of it. That is it in our fairy loot box for the month. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you have a lovely rest of your weekend and I will see you guys soon. Bye.